Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the permadeath run of Hamza, chosen of the Bella, or rather cursed of the Bella. He is progressing the companion storyline quest in this episode, but before we go and do that, we're actually starting an, or continuing an older quest. Uh, one that is called March of the Dead. For those of you who remember, we fought a few Ash Spawn way, way back uh, when we were a young lad. And now it is time to finish said quest. In Fort Forthmore, we will find many of uh, these Ash Borns, which is the reason why we haven't been here. They are quite strong. But we are strong as well. All right, uh, fire resistance. Should think about that. A little bit resist magic here. And I think we're going with uh, one resist potion. Some of them are casters. Luckily, we got our protective gear up. They are not undeads as far as I know. So, silver weapons will not do additional damage to them. I recharged our axe, uh, which will help us. And we purchased some more potions. Never fall. Long live the Empire. Oh, we already got uh, the hit point bar of uh, the captain. Gotta be careful here. Lots of enemies might be more clever to play it safe. Bring it on. Wow. Wow. We walked right into that. Gotta avoid getting hit by the fireballs and at the same time deal with all of these guys. I wonder if I should have taken on that quest, but now that we're here, might as well try to do it. They certainly have a lot of uh, insights on them, indicating that they are strong. And if we only fight one or two of them, we're okay. But a whole yard of them might be a, a bit too much. We got one chance. There it is. Once they are in melee, they are not too bad. But the fire certainly hurts. Should have brought a fire resist potion. Yeah, we're 
We gotta deal with the magic resist. Don't have the key yet, uh, but I think there was a back entrance. Or one of them had the key. Luckily we can't take any fall damage. Might as well just jump down. Yeah, I will need to... S oh! Yeah, stupid me. The quest indicator told me where to go. Let's go in, guys. But since we're fighting them again, get up the resist magic, more damage as well, and rush through this as much as we can. We only got a few minutes to clear this. They got ebony ore. That's even better. Yeah, we can't be beating that unless we do have the key to the place. Which we'll find in a bit, I suppose. Fire spiders. Oh, I, I hated them. With a passion, and they deal a lot of damage. Okay, we do have an I, I do have an idea though. That idea backfired quite a bit. need a bit more fire resist to go through this here. I was under the impression there was actually a tunnel that leads deeper in where you don't need the key. My mistake. We're wasting valuable time with our potion. We'll loot that in a second. From an XP perspective, this dungeon is fantastic. Unfortunately, from a difficulty one, not so much. But we have one more resist potion and I intend to use it only when, if and when needed. Which also takes a bit of uh, the rush out of the whole approach here. One of these situations where I should have just come with um, with more preparation. <clears throat> Uh, 
All right, refilling the axe, uh, which is another source of healing for us. Nice, at full hit point level we can now open Adept. That is fantastic, good to know. And I'm pretty sure one of these guys had originally the key. Oh no, I just forgot uh, there was more to the dungeon. There we go. That's the explanation. Nice try, buddy. Good. that's the key we were looking for don't need that could use this I'm wondering if am I missing something well I can always come back and check that one later but now we got the key which should open that master lock and also the deeper parts of the dungeon. I distinctly remember the general to be quite strong. A good potion in there. Getting some graters, which is phenomenal. And there we are. Okay, cool. So, what do we have available to us? I think we don't need any of that yet. I'll use it if and when needed. Definitely is immune. And I just decided resist magic isn't the worst idea. Good, as long as he's on the ground, we're okay. Apparently there is a chance of affecting him, but not 100%. Cheesy, but uh, so be it. Generating just to get him down for one more time. He has a nice mullet. Looks like one with um, soul trap enchantment. Fifty percent chance for each element fire frost and shock to do thirty percent. That is a massive, massive weapon. 
holy shit, that is... I mean, that's an upgrade all along. Unfortunately, we are using... We are using uh, our war axes. I will keep this one though because uh, it deals basically all of the three damage types and has a massive amount of damage. Uh, pretty damn good. Uh, time to use our carry weight and also check whatever else is in the room. And then we are going to report back in. I'll trade in the quest and we see each other after that. Alright, we're back in action and we are continuing the uh, Companions quest line. Fort Fellhammer is the next step to retrieve another item of Wuhan. But before that can happen, Fort Dunstadt uh, came in our way and as much as I wanted to avoid it, you know how it is and what they say, sometimes fate is calling you. In this case, fate is a couple of archers. All right, the bandits are not hitting that hard anymore. I recharged our weapon, by the way. Are you kidding me? Of course, a wolf. Look at that difference uh, to the beginning. The levels are really showing through. I'll just go through the bandit camp and afterwards uh, loot everything in detail. Poor fellow here has uh, the strongest ranged weapon, but with uh, the leveling di uh, discrepancy, it's for him like it is. It was for us at the very beginning, uh, fighting a boss. We're quite literally one-shotting them. But we won't have such an easy uh, picking with uh, the Silver Brigade. Once we're there, it's gonna be a bit tougher. Alright, time for Fort uh, Dune set. This could have been one of the dungeons that I could have done at the beginning. You missed, buddy, and that was your last slash that you did. She taunt, uh, taunted me. Paid with her life. Gotta be careful with our stamina here for the first time. We are being caught off guard with our stamina low. They walked into their own traps. Well, now with uh, stamina regenerating, things should be back to normal. To deal with these guys. We even get net net some potions out of it. I won't uh, show a lot of bandit content going forward as I realize uh, this here becomes more and more trivial with higher level armor.
Definitely hear the guy behind the wall. More question, where did they come from? Well, it's not an illusionary wall. You can actually can't go through there. Oh, now I see. We're in the tower. Should have guessed from the get-go. So you're the last oh, poor the guy. No. Recharging our weapon. And I think we're done here. I'll loot this one in all calmness, but uh, that's one of uh, the small outposts right here. Good. Off to the silver hand. Good. I ran into a few more random encounters, but here we are. That should be the silver hand and not these fools. I think we've um, got the wrong quest. It's one of those random quests that you can get in order to earn money with uh, the companions. Well, they do have potions of cleansing, so maybe that is indeed the silver hand. If so, it would be quite embarrassing. Because they are rather low compared to the guys that we fought beforehand. Well, they are... Fire arrows definitely hit hard, and it is the silver hen. Uh, they just are not very well armored this time. Or, completely crazy theory, maybe Hamza has just gotten a little bit stronger. Let's get rid of Skoma, I don't want to use that. Potion of resist piercing. I tell you what, that came at the exact right moment of time. Okay, one more. And we're golden. No falling damage means right into his face. And uh, that was the first part of the camp. Honestly, I thought they would hit a bit harder. But uh, we're doing re absolutely respective. Uh, respectively well. I'm trying a new food that increases mana regeneration but unfortunately the stamina regeneration is lacking so might need to switch that around. I don't know yet. Let's go in. Or let's not. I could have sworn they do have uh, entry keys. Is someone there? 
<laughs> and that was the leader of them. Taunted me like a fool. Edit. We should be able to open that with full health, of course. Okay, we are at full health. Damn it. We have fortify health. No, we unfortunately don't. Such a, such a shame. I would have wanted to loot that chest. No, it's not uh, bulging. All right. Restocking supplies, and I think we can go into the lower section. Shouldn't be many enemies in here, should they? Someone there? Well, apparently I'm wrong. Some of them triggered a trap. I heard the falling of rocks. You can't win this. Ah! Nice elven armor. It would be much earlier in the game, this would have been fantastic. I'm surprised that they are so underwhelming in terms of strength. Uh, the others at the last camp where I needed to invade together with Aya, uh, where we had the Skinner, were much stronger. So an interesting drop in uh, strength here. Heavy armor skill book, definitely. Uh, something that we wanted. I'm still looking for the, um, the part of Vutran. A legendary axe. But I get the sense it's not in here. Let's just follow the quest indicator. Just hopefully not telling me to just jump down. Okay, let's try again. Maybe it is upstairs with the captain. Apparently it is. Must have missed it. Yeah, I know where it is. Of course. All right, off we go and uh, let's purchase a master key. I'll be back in a second. Good, here we are. Finally, the fragment of Wutan, of inside potions at least. We recovered our costs. Good. Back to the companions and let's trade this one in. I've been running into I got the fragment. Piece of glory. Good work, shield brother. What's our next target? Good that you're so eager. I've caught wind that one of the brighter silver hand has been sniffing around the rift. If you can sneak into their camp and steal her plans, we'll have the advantage. 
fantastic. That's exactly what we're going to do next. Stealing her plants. So, we need to go... We need to go... To exactly here. That's where we need to go. Falder's Tooth. And that's a nice little camp. Did I just hear special ammunition? Yes, I think so. Let's. I should get auto loot for those items, specifically gold and uh, the diluted potions. Okay, fair enough. Four against one. Sounds like a job. Or magic. Why is there a wolf? Of everything else. Dealt with the immediate threat. Five down. A few more to go. And really, wolves are always turning up at the worst possible time, right? We got all of the main loot. Back to what we were doing beforehand. It was a large pack of wolves. Not only a few, but a large pack. Be careful with our stamina. I think I'll change the food and we'll try potato soup again. That means less, uh, less casting, but overall just a healthier regeneration of stamina. We can't open Adept. I was under the impression we managed to open Adept. Somehow that might have been wrong. One of the aspects that I haven't tried so far is the disarm shout. So I have tried it, but it hasn't worked yet. Good, specifically against two-handed uh, enemies, uh, the shout should be quite effective. So that's the second layer of uh, defense that we could take.
good. So far, so good. I distinctly remember there were more traps here, yeah. Should have immediately hit him, but I messed up on the casting. The dura they increased the durations of many, many spells uh, with uh, three BF tweaks, and I must admit I have played a lot of normal requiem, but never tried three BF tweaks in a full playthrough. It was actually the first time that uh, we're going through it. There you go. He picked it up right afterwards. That worked well in our favor. Yeah, we're very resistant against slashing damage. So I was okay with taking that one hit. A couple of soul gems, so that's helpful. Ooh. Almost, almost. Quick feet. Whew. That actually could have been uh, quite a problem. Wow. Never let your guard down. Ever. Interesting. I put a couple of coins there to uh, distract. The door should actually open. I mean, we're better than novice. Well, never mind. This, on the other hand, would be a nice find. Getting in there, so maybe we can get the master key. Who knows? Okay, I'll loot that in detail after the dungeon. Maze of Chills. Let's see. That one has frost damage. Yeah, I'll get it later. We're just refueling our weapon. sure that that's the way to go all right let me figure out how to get there already found it there we go pull bar and off we go good Damn, these casting increases are nasty. Head up. Good. 
now it's definitely a good time to use one of our magicka potions and a poison wouldn't be bad and I don't uh, think that we need uh, will need a shock potion shock resist potion because that was just an arrow these two are out of commission for now Archer is done. Other Archer is done as well. Good. We'll take that. Thank you. Gotta deal with him relatively quick. Before we loot the others because his body is still sleeping and I don't want to use that to our advantage good very good. So, we cleared the room with these guys. I think we're just healing up normally. I can do the detailed looting afterwards. Sure, there's still someone in here. Further upstairs. One of the things why we're still regenerating little mana is the werewolf uh, prevents us. The werewolf prevents us from being. Uh, well rested. Well rested normally increases your ability to gain skills, but in here it really. Oh, nice! Oh, nice! That is a lifesaver right there. Little shocks. We can use that in Requiem. What what well rested does is it effectively increases uh, your mana regeneration and your stamina regeneration. So you typically always want to be well rested when going on adventures, but since we have become a werewolf, that no longer works. There is a trap here, obviously. What was that? Gotta refresh a couple of things. Go on that. Time to end this game. Of course. Now they are coming. Yeah. Potentially, I'd like to get my Shadow Shield back up. Resist Fire is good. That's fantastic. Skoma, not so much what we're using. Let's shortly wait to get the Shadow Shield back up. There we go. That's uh, the extra armor. Uh, which came in super handy so far. This will be a good sell. Alright, and whilst she is fighting with the terrain... We are doing this, and this, and this. We don't have any more carry weight, by the way. Pay close attention this year. Would have uh, 
hurt us really, really badly. They might not be individually strong, but they are draining a lot of resources. And the traps are certainly doing their worst as well. Come on. I'll get that on the way out. No need to bother you guys with it. So this was where we originally had been moving. It was opening the way back up. This is yet another trap. Make no mistakes, the stones, even if they are just rolling, might still be deadly. Apparently there is a boss bandit somewhere around here. Really what we wanted to do is... Get the plants and get out of here. I'll get that chest afterwards. Let's find the bandit. Let's find the plants. And let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, we need to get up that tower. How are we going to do that? I suppose this way. Damn it. Lots of chests that we need to open. And potentially the plants are right up there. She can pack a bit of a punch, but she's not immune to the lucid dreams of Hamza, and as such, she goes down just like the rest. Cool. Wow, we are so over encumbered. I can't even pick up potions anymore. That's the plan. And we are going to loot this dungeon with a carry weight potion. I'll see you back in in White Run. Another letter from Rallis. Fantastic. Looks like that's it. We just Go. got our next letter from Rallis. And by the way, <laughs> I got an interesting piece of loot. As we got these boots here. 
Increase carry capacity by 32 points. So I am wondering if it is worth just carrying them around with us to then get the loot out of uh, the dungeon. Because boy, is it difficult to carry two heavy weapons in this game. And heavy armor. Uh, showing you the stash, by the way, uh, just so you can see what we're doing here. I'll disenchant that in a second. Uh, we got three necklaces, uh, one for magicka, one for poison resist, one for resist uh, elements. Uh, typically, I am having a couple of potions here as and when needed. So, for instance, I only need one potion of cleansing. The resist potions should come with us. I'll typically stash a few more uh, food items uh, there. All of the books. Uh, we need to sell all of that and we're going to stash some money. Wait, we need 5,000 now. So let's just stash a little bit. We need 5,000 for the next iteration of the uh, of the quest. Good. I'll finish selling, turn in, and then we're leveling up. Okay, and now to finish up today's episode. Perfect. Hopefully this will let us know more about their movement. I think we... And there is more work to be done. But I fear that Codlack's gotten wind of our recent... My advice, always be honest with the old man. But don't tell him anything he doesn't need to know. Good. Time to, I think, progress the quest to its last step. Where we are reforging the weapon. Thank you for coming. Yes, young lady. Have a seat. With pleasure. I hear you've been busy in Hearts are full of grief, and my own weeps at the loss of Skior. But his death was avenged long ago. You have taken more lives than honor demanded. The cycle of retaliation may continue for some time. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? Skior said it was a blessing from her sea. Aye, that sounds like. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. So what's the truth, then? The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glen Moral Coven. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hirsin, we would be granted great power. And they became werewolves? They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment, like anyone else. But we had been deceived. But aren't you more powerful now? The witches didn't lie, of course. But it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. It seeps into the spirit. Upon death, Werewolves are claimed by Hirsing for his hunting grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. That is their choice. But I am still a true Nord, and I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. Is there a way to cure yourself, Codlock? That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. Mm -hmm. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. 
It Good. shall be done. Move quickly, and don't leave any of them alive. Talos guide you, lad. Fantastic. So that is, dear friends, where we're going to end the episode, but not before leveling up. Let's increase our skills. Holy, we had a long, long run. That is fantastic. We wanted to do restoration and build that up. Restoration to 50 will allow us to finally get a couple of the more mana regeneration perks. We still got points left over. I would say in anticipation of maybe later. Might as well put more in enchanting. I will level up things up to level 25 now so that we get the maximum bang for our bucks for the points that we do have. Because up to 25 it's 5 for 1, then it is 10 for 1. So that's fine. Let's uh, continue with lock picking. I think that's what we wanted to do as well. Just in case we ever need it. Cool. So quickly all of the points are gone. And now we have the greater points, which... We wanted uh, illusion to progress to 60. Oh, we're so sh we're just short of one point of um, illusion. Well, it is what it is. Can't get the uh, the perk yet, but we can certainly soon get it. Bit more magicka would be helpful. That way we can actually cast some more health as well. And we got ourselves three perks. We made it all the way to level 21. It is definitely reserved for uh, illusion. We're almost uh, there. Restoration enhanced magicka, 30 magicka, and 50% less magicka when struck in combat. That'll be huge, just uh, so that we can uh, that we can regenerate more magicka. We don't want to do enchanting. I'm contemplating smithing as an option. We, I forgot about this beautiful perk, elemental nullification. Super important. We wanted to get it much earlier, and it could have made a difference. I forgot that we were at 50 heavy armor. So the last perk we're going to save uh, for the next illusion. And level 21 would be um, the heavy armor perk over here, which allows us to uh, fast and more easily cast in heavy armor. In terms of our equipment, yeah, resist magic is fine. Look at that, with a full set, we're now at 30 resist magic, is that correct? This here is heavy armor, heavy armor, heavy armor, heavy armor. Let me just check something real quick. Plus 2.5 uh, to all elemental resistances for each piece of heavy armor. Oh, I think it is actual elemental resistance is good. We got fire, shock and lightning 15. That's not bad. The way that uh, it works uh, in Skyrim is first the magic resist deducts it and then multiplicatively, every, uh, multiplicatively uh, everything in terms of damage that goes through magic resist will be deducted by the elemental resistances. So <clears throat> you want to have both of these layers of defense and that perk actually was quite quite helpful the last one up here would be the same for magic resistance which <clears throat> we get at 75 it's potentially not going to happen in the last uh, piece of the playthrough 
but uh, yeah, we're I mean we're fine. Next time we're continuing with the excavation quest uh, because we want to still continue getting our armor and uh, be a better caster. And other than that, really the only thing is uh, to give you a warm uh, waving uh, from uh, from Windhelm and ask you to wave back by waving at the like button. Uh, next time we see Hamzer, he hopefully will get his uh, second last piece of armor out of the excavation. And then we're killing some witches. Off we go. Until then, bye bye.